So thank you for inviting me to this conference. We have been commissioned by UNICEF Supply Division to do an assessment of what technologies are out there that can be used to strengthen the supply chain. So first, let's look at what we meant by a supply chain. This is a very simplified sketch that comprises all operations since uh, procurement order to the end user reception of, of the goods. We will be focusing in three areas. The first one is track and trace, which comprises all of these operations. Second will be end use monitoring, which is just something that is not been done and we would like to use to feedback to the moment of procurement and procure the goods that exactly are needed. And last one is emergency, emergency response, which is the most general of all and uh, comprise most operations. It's important to bear in mind the slide that was shown by Paul at the beginning, in which there are many different organizations involved in this process. So it's not a simple manner to coordinate all of them and to give the data to all of them. So here is a set of questions that should be kept in mind when designing an intervention in which we hope uh, we will be strengthen the supply chain by using mobile technologies. So first, first of all is to keep in mind who has the information. Is it the health worker? It is the end user? It is the logistician? And secondly is do we have a communication channel open today? How effective it is? This is very important. Maybe we are receiving reports by paper during a week and we are only sending supplies in a month time. So this is enough time for us to, to reply. So should we employ the resources to make it faster? Maybe it's not what we should do. Third is to think about what are the motivations or the incentive for the people who hold the information to share them with us. If they are motivated themselves, it's just a matter of facilitating a channel. If they are not, we can think about doing incentives, but this is a double-edged sword because maybe we are promoting false reporting. So it's also something that we have to take into account. Fourth is to thinking about constraints. But budget constraint is obvious, but then we have also technological constraint. There is connectivity, whatever. And then it's a cultural constraint. There are some countries in Africa in which the women are not allowed to have a cellular phone because the husband thinks they will use it to cheat on them. So depending on who holds the information and who we want to talk to, this is also that has to be considered country by country. And fi finally, uh, but not least, is how all this information will be processed and shared with all the stakeholders. Keep in mind this slide of the supply chain in Kenya. So first, let's concentrate in track and trace. This is like the bread and butter of supply chains. And uh, these are a set of questions that we have to be answering to design an implementation. First is, do the health clinic has connectivity? If, if they have connectivity, they can either report by voice or they can send data. This data can be acquired just by a barcode link with a GPS or other devices that tell us what this, where these uh, units have arrived. Or we can use SMS templates in the manner of some uh, interventions that have been explained in, in this arena. If there is no connectivity, we can either consider to give them satellite connectivity or just use a synchronous mode, which is offline. We record the data, we store this in our device, and then whenever we have connectivity, we send it. Talking about devices, we have been talking about mobile phones. They, they are ubiquitous in, in Africa. They are very present. They are low cost. End users have them. However, if we have the choice, maybe we should consider to use something as a PDA of a smartphone because they can be procured in a manner that fits better our need. More rugged, is a, have a special customized function like GPS and other, other facilities. So I'm going to talk about uh, just one example in each of these categories. This example is uh, for track and trace it was done by an NGO called Jobsa, and they are targeting health information in rural setting. So what a rural setting means here is that people live days 
of travel for the health clinics. So there are community workers that travel around, they have their own routes, and they are going checking what the current patient, patients are doing in, with the uh, um, dosage and are they sticking to the, to the program and so on, and what new pr problems are arising in these communities. Before they were doing this, just reporting at the moment that they went back to the headquarters so that they had to travel with uh, some medications and drugs and try to give people what they needed, but they could only do as good as the information they had in the previous, in the previous route. What uh, this NGO did is uh, to start an SMS reporting system in which they use 100 donated cellular phones, they give them to the health community workers, and then they started sending the information whenever connectivity was available. This data first was aggregated in terms of who is sending this information, which um, diseases are more prevalent, and so on. But importantly, this data was linked with the inventory systems, so that people at the headquarters would be able to do the procurement in advance and then have enough drugs for, for the next traveling season. Forecasting is so important in supply chain. This is key to streamline all the operations. And this is something that can be greatly facilitated by these kind of interventions. 